The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, sounding bad, Billy Ray, but still doing okay. On the green side of the grass, and that's the most important thing. Let's take a look here at the FTSE first. As you can see, we're completing a little Gartley here this morning on the 15-minute chart. And if we take a look at the DAX, we've already completed one. We're in the midst of a little bit of a rally, pretty much like we're seeing uh, right now. Now, I'm going to share with you one chart that tells it all for me. I mean, I'm not going to show if it's going to work or not, but... This is one of those patterns that you love to see. And we have Stan Harley as our guest today, folks. Make sure that you don't miss that. That's really good. Anyway, I posted a chart here of the E-mini S&P showing the resistance, possible resistance up there at 3830. That trade is the ultimate trading against uh, with the trend. The trend is certainly down. And you got a little ABCD pattern there. Whether that's going to mean anything or not, I'm not sure. But you know what, folks? Nobody else is. Let's take a quick look at the. You want to see the what's been happening in that uh, high tech section, folks? Look at the look at the ABCD here. It doesn't even reach the 382. I mean, this is a really really uh, quiet rally we've had here this morning. So I I don't know, but that that's what it looks like uh, from from the pattern recognition sub section. Now I want to take a sec second here to talk about the gold, folks. Uh, I've been I that's one of my favorite things to trade because it's. It's just easy. Well, the euro is easy is easier, but the gold is more volatile and gives you more money when you're right. It takes more money away from me when you're wrong. And I have gotten emotionally tied up to the bullish side of the gold, and I I think it's because every day that I get on this program, I get so many questions uh, on by by email or Skype or something. Is this the bottom? Is this the bottom? Is this the bottom, folks? I don't really know. All I can do is get as close as I can. Uh, I hope you don't email me and ask me where the bottom is because I don't know. I'm assuming the bottom is going to come in somewhere around uh, 1673. Now we might have made a bottom already, as I mentioned yesterday. We hit the exact prices on that G. GDX that we were waiting for to tell us that the gold market has turned. And we've had a turn. The markets went from 1699 up to uh, what, 17, uh, six, yeah, to 1725. And now it's backed off to around 1712. So it hasn't really made much of a bottom yet. But there's a possibility here that we could be at a bottom. My, my assumption is that because of the 382 being where it is, on the weekly chart and the ABCD bearing where it is, I have to give it the 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 uh, we call the uh, best uh, the uh, the the you know let it let it do its thing here. Let me take a, take a look here. Hold on, let me get this chart up here so we'll be able to see it. Okay, this is it uh, down here at that uh, somewhere between 1670 and 1674. I know I thought I was going to, that we might get below 1700. We have, but folks, the uh, the, only, the only way I can tell you this is I've got a feeling that's where it's going to go. I, I I and I'm going to wait and see. I'll, I'll nibble at it from the from the long side, of course. Uh, I think if you if you got that gold down around 1690. Today, I think that will probably be a, some type of a short-term buy, but we could easily get down to that level at uh, 1670. Now, one of the things that I'm watching is how silver and platinum are acting. Now, platinum, if it gets below the uh, the, the 50 level, I think it's, uh, what, 1250 level, uh, I think that that would be a really a bad sign. Uh, excuse me, that's 1150 in the platinum. Uh, that would be a, a relatively negative sign. So, if you're in the if you're in the uh, D and the C, the gold the GLD came within 60 cents of the of the number. So, if you're in the GLD, just put just risk a dollar stop on the GLD. That's all you have to do. But officially, I am waiting. I want to see it. This is a Thursday, believe it or not. Tomorrow's Friday. Am I good in math or what? And 
and uh, then we will uh, take a look at this thing over the weekend uh, really, really closely to see what's going on. We'll see if that's going to be the uh, case or not. Uh, someone's saying that there was a spike in the GDX at uh, 33 this morning. That'd be up quite a bit. Uh, I don't know if that'll be the case or not, but we'll have to see. But that hit that exact number. If you just just go back and look at your charts, like Tornyman says, defy human nature, do the work yourself. Go in and look at that, and you'll see that you're spot on right there at that level. So we'll see if that's going to be the uh if that's going to be the bottom. And if it is, there, there's an easy way to get in. You just wait for the first ABCD correction, and boy, you always get them, let me tell you. So if you don't think you get them, go back and look at the charts, folks. They're very seldom that you don't have that. Now let's take a look at another one here that we've been in that's been uh, very nice to us, and we're getting close here to, uh, we're at break even on this right now. No, it hasn't gapped at all. Thanks, Duffy. That, that's, uh, that's about where it closed, I think. Uh, here's the uh, euro. We had that move up to uh, one, 121. Uh, now we, we go backed off about 80 pips. That was your first uh, profit objective, of course. Now you want to be at break even on that if you're in that. You don't want that to get above 120.90. So you've locked in a profit, and you certainly want to keep it uh, moving in that the right direction for sure. Okay, now we have uh, one other item that I want to cover here. I want to show some gold charts here. The first one I showed you was uh, a little bit longer term. Now, this is a little bit shorter term. Let me get this up here to see it. Uh, you'll see here that we have, you, you can see the three dry, look at the far right, folks. You can see the three dry, by the way, this comes from one of our friends across the pond who is a, he is an expert. I'm, I, <laughs> to say he's not an expert is an understatement of the year, but he is an expert trader with pattern recognition and ratios. And you can see here that uh, he's looking at gold bar down there that you see is right there, that area that we are, uh, we're talking about just a while ago. What I'm looking at is this little little three drive pattern that we have going on here on the far right and when I saw that I said you know I'll think I'll be able to tell us that maybe this will be something a little bit different than uh, we might think so I'm just being cautious that's all it's better to be, if you if you watch what you don't lose you're going to be far better off than you know if you try to you know gain something and, and, and win uh, you know make a big winner out of it so that's one of the things that uh, going through my mind on the gold. But frankly, folks, I got emotionally tied to it, and that's not a good thing to do. Uh, you know, I've seen myself over the years. Sometimes I get emotionally attached to the short side of the market, and I, I try to not to do that because I, I'm, I'm, I, I respect your money, and I want to be sure I give you the best analysis that I possibly can. I will tell you this: my risk is going to be my risk are always going to be small, but uh, the question is whether I'm going to be right or not and that's the the question that uh, always uh, presents us so those are just a few of the things this morning that uh, we have to uh, pay uh, close attention to the uh, next one here i want to spend just a second here on uh, apple because this is a very important chart in what we look at here hold on here algorithms have no emotion boy duffy you're right that is right, and I. That's why I use my artificial intelligence. Hey, we'll be right back. We're going to talk about Apple. Golden ratios give shape to everything in our world, represented in the Fibonacci sequence. These special numbers define the patterns that make up our universe. Not even markets can escape the omnipotence of these ratios. Larry Pesavento is a 45-year market veteran who has published nearly a dozen books on the powerful patterns we find in nature and the relationships with the ever-elusive markets. Larry's newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7, will teach you to harness the power of these natural golden ratios in order to create successful trades. Fibonacci 24-7 is designed to teach the tools you need to identify and act on these undeniable and reoccurring patterns. Sign up for Larry's newsletter, Fibonacci 24-7, and you will also receive free access to his trading webinar, Trading Strong Trending Markets. Try out Larry's newsletter risk-free 
All of TFNN's newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Hey there, I'm Andy Arbertine with Tiger Precious Metals and Stones. Whether you're looking to buy and sell precious metals or trying to find the perfect diamond ring, I'm here to help. I have over 15 years of experience with diamonds and precious metals. You can call me directly at 727-329-8245 and I will personally answer any questions you have and help you find exactly what you're looking for. I will be your personal concierge in the metal and stone business. Give me a call today, 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, another market that I want to spend some time with uh, that I think has some really long-term bearish applications here are, is the uh, bond market. And all I want to do is to show you, you know, where we are here. We've hit that major bottom. We pointed that out to everybody using that TLT because it was so spot on. And, folks, if we go below this, let me bring this to your attention here. And, and be below 156 in the, in the June bonds, uh, would do it. We're switched over to June bonds now, so that's it. Remember, folks, when when we were looking at last March, uh, when they were telling us that we have a, almost assured that we were going to have zero interest rates in the U.S. Treasuries, well, that didn't happen. And now we're at a point where we've come back down from 180 all the way down to 138 in the T notes, which is the T. This is the TLT, the 20-year notes. Uh, excuse me, 20 year bonds. If you go over 10, 10 years, goes to notes over 10 years or bonds. And if you take a look at this, this has a, uh, a really nice pattern there. We have great support there at the 61% retracement level. But if we go below that, folks, that means that we have really broken some major support. And uh, we're in a, certainly in a downtrend. We've been, you know, bearish this for so long, and it's been a hard one to be bearish with because everybody's telling us that every day on the news it's lower interest rates, lower interest rates. I mean, it's just incredible. I have to. I got a note here to talk about something, and I'll I'll get to it in just a second because it's so hilarious that I I couldn't believe it. I'll talk, tell you about it right now. I heard that they have have banned the book, uh, one of Dr. Seuss's books, that they've banned Dr. Seuss. I know if, if the cancel culture gets that far, there's a real problem. I mean, that's one of the, that's probably one of the best children's books that you could ever have. The one that I remember was, uh, is the uh, one that I've always given gifts of people that have young kids is Where You Will Go by, uh, Dr. Seuss. It's about what you can do and think positive and everything. I mean, that anyway, those books are incredible. Give me a, the next thing they do. They're going to they'll they'll be banning uh, Mr. Rogers for God's sakes or Big Bird or, or 
<laughs> I don't know. It's really silly what's going on, but you know that's the nature of our business here, folks. So we'll keep a look on it. Keep a quick, quick eye on this. Anyway, all right. Going back to the gold market, here's the big problem that we have with the gold market, and that is this. We are setting right at the number that I was looking at for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, right down there at 1710. We're now trading around 1720. I still not sure that it's not going to go down a little bit lower. I don't know that. I'm waiting for a really good pattern. Now, we've got the GDX lined up, and we've got the uh, GLD lined up. We just don't have the April futures lined up. In my in my opinion, maybe I'm just too too cautious here as I've seen this uh, thing unfold. So those are the, you know, it, it's really difficult because I'm trying to get the emotion out of it because part of it, you know, we, we had a one hell of a run in that stuff because we've been bearish for quite a long time and uh, it was very good to us. And now to reverse you know, it's not the easiest thing in the world. You know, the old adage is the most bullish person is the sold out bear. And uh, I'm trying not to trying not to be that way. So I'm waiting for the waiting for the pattern to unfold. I would be a buyer down there at 1676. That I would be. That's about 40 bucks from where we are in these kind of markets. 40 bucks could be to by the end of the show or while I'm speaking right now. So those are one of the things. The other thing is I'm going to be uh, I've been selected by one of the more uh, one of the most popular uh, websites and stuff that people know who they are. Uh, not, I haven't made the, the commitment yet, but uh, they've asked me to do some uh, live trading for them in a contest. And I, I said, I'll certainly think about it. I don't like contests. And the reason why is way back in the nine, 18, nine, late 80s and early 90s, I was always in these contests. And I was always right near the top. But the guy that was always winning was Frank Tauscher. Larry Williams once once beat Tauscher, but that's because he caught a monster move in bonds. But Frank was he was the master. He he just uh, he just blew everybody away, and uh, he's the one who wrote the uh, Super Traders Almanac every year, and uh, was a was a dear friend. But boy, was he a good trader. He's probably one of the best I've ever seen. I I I've only met Amos Hostetter twice in my life, but uh, you know I'd I'd seen all his trades and he done he he did tremendous amounts but not like not a lot not like frank the only thing i've seen closer to frank boys and girls you're listening to him every day and that's mr z in the room that boy has got his game on like i've never seen before so you ought to if you if you if you have any qualms about what to do just go into the tiger den and look at some of the trades that mr z is doing i mean the, the man is uh, he knows what's happening you know he's got game on and so uh, right, remind yourself that uh, there's people out there that they're in there trying to help you, but just go in and look at it. I know I know some people do because they tell me that they do. And he is really, really good. The man walks his talk, and uh, so pay attention to him. Okay, let's move on to one other market that someone has asked about. I haven't updated it, but that is the, uh, the cocoa market. I want to get this up here for just a second here. Because uh, we, uh, I haven't updated. I don't know if it came through or not. But basically, yes, Mr. Z is the best by far by right now. I don't think there's any question about it, Bob A. Because I, I watch what he does. He emails me some of the things that he does, and uh, he does do a great job. And, and not only that, he's a really nice guy, and he's humble too. He's been around long enough to be humble. But if we look at Coco here now, we're, we're seeing it here. We had this at 126 level of where this was going to be. Now the danger sign here was. Remember, I did this. Uh, I did this last uh, Sunday. So the danger here is that if uh, because of the strength of that trend, look, I'm going straight straight up for eight straight days that's telling you that whoa maybe this thing is a lot more stronger than you might want to realize and so one of the things that we want to do here is to go in and uh, check to see how the uh, cocoa is doing this morning and let's just get it up here and we'll see where we are and we are still right there we're still we're still right there at that 126 level. Let's get this up here so you can see it. We went above it for a little bit, but now we're back down below it, so within a, within a penny. So we've got some pretty good resistance there in the cocoa at that uh, 126 and change. So that's why 
these numbers are good for, for risk control. That's what they're really good for, folks. It tells you whether they're right or wrong because if they go beyond what the pattern is supposed to be, it's a pretty good indication that you're doing the wrong thing. And uh, that's the whole pre premise of trading is correct your losses as quick as you can, and you'll be a lot better off than uh, you would if you didn't do that. And that's another thing that you've got to remember to do as you go through some of these things here in the morning here. We're going to have Stan Harley coming up here at the break. We don't want to miss that. He's always had some great charts for us, and we will certainly be uh, listening to him. So stay with us here. and we get back to the uh, program here, we're going to have Stan Harley on, and we'll be listening to what uh, what he has to say. Okay, folks. Uh, Oh, we're, oh, the break is not quite yet. Hey, if you have any questions, 877-927-6648. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The US deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back with Stan Harley in the house. Stan, how are you doing today? Good morning, Larry. I'm doing, doing awesome. 
Well, you should be. You're, you're one of the most requested people that I have. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> if it goes more than just a few days past where you're supposed to be on, they always say, where's Stan? Where's Stan? So that's good. You told us a few weeks ago that you were expecting a low in mid-March, and so far that is uh, lining pretty much up. Do you still feel that, that we're getting close to that level? I do, Larry. Yes. Um, no change in my views. I, uh, you know, when you and I spoke a couple of weeks ago, I, I was suggesting we should be watching the time period around March 11th, maybe the 12th at the latest, and I'm still sticking by that. It still looks, uh, looks pretty solid for that. Um, okay. This chart on the screen is a uh, a chart you and I have discussed a lot in the past. What I've done here is I've shown the primary cycle. Uh, for me, the primary intermediate cycle in the stock market averages approximately 34 weeks. It's an accordion and expands and contracts. But over the long haul, the nominal length is about 34 weeks. That's about seven and a half months, roughly 160 trading days, trough to trough. And uh, the most recent uh, primary bottom in that cycle occurred at the October 30th low. And prior to that, we had a low back on uh, March 23rd of last year. Um, and each primary cycle, Larry, typically is composed of what I call four trading cycles. And I've numbered them one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the count resets at each primary bottom. Uh, so for example, at the March 23rd low, you can see I've counted in succession one, two, three, four. Then beginning on the 30th of October, the, uh, the trading cycle count resets again with the number one, two. And we are right now, by my count, in the second trading cycle. And the trough is pending. We're not there yet. I think we have a few more days to go. Um, but uh, as a, generally speaking, uh, we tend to have four of these. Sometimes there's three in a shortened cycle. Sometimes there's five in an expanded one. But nominally, there's four trading cycles. And they tend to average approximately 40 trading days uh, in length. Wow, that's really good. It's as simple as one, two, three, four. Is that is, is that's pretty much what you say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I know it is, except that it took 45 years to learn that stuff. That's the real interesting <laughs> part of this. <laughs> yeah, well, it took me about 40, but yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know the feeling. Let's take a look at this next chart that's, that's very interesting, uh, uh, the count that you have here for uh, trading, uh, trading days. I mean, I think it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good idea there. Yes, Larry, what I've done is I've taken the, the same chart of the S&P 500, <clears throat> uh -huh. and the vertical lines, of course, represent the, uh, the troughs and the trading cycles, just as in the prior chart. But I've, what I've done here is I have uh, annotated in, uh, in trading days the, the, the count from trough to trough signifying the length in trading days of the trading cycle. And over there on the left, we had a cycle that went 40 trading days bottom to bottom, 35, 37, 31, and so forth. Uh, this, if, if you look at all eight of these, you add them up and divide by eight, you'll find that the average is 40.0. <laughs> Although rarely do we see a trading day count of exactly 40 trading days, that cycle, like all cycles, it's an accordion and expands and contracts. But if one looks at a sufficiently large enough sample size, and you can either compute the average or you can compute the median or you can do a regression analysis, either way, you're going to find that the nominal count, low to low, over the long haul, is right at 40 trading days. Um, and by my uh, analysis here, I think this current trading cycle, which is not done yet, uh, I think it's going to come in around 28 trading days, and that would peg the low in the vicinity of March 11th. Uh, it could expand into the 12th, but I'm saying the 11th plus or minus Larry. That's where the data seems to fit the best, and I think we'll make a low point here, and that will complete the second trading cycle, and then we'll start powering upward again. Uh, in, a, in a bull market environment, which is what we were in, we typically see right translation. That means the primary cycle tends to peak at the third or the fourth trading cycle. So we're not there yet. Uh, once we make this low in the vicinity of March 11th, I think we'll power higher. And, uh, and we should uh, top out in either the third or the fourth trading cycle, which, which would suggest a, a primary cycle peak in the May to perhaps as late as June timeframe. 
Okay, very interesting. What do you what do you suggest as a sample size as uh, being you know realistic? Uh, well, uh, one in, in looking at these trading cycles, I've gone, I've taken the analysis back years. Um, uh, one or two uh, sessions ago, when you and I were up there together, I showed my work going back about ten or fifteen years, and uh, and I did a very detailed analysis of that. Um, I'm going to submit that to the Foundation for the Study of Cycles for a paper, by the way. Um, but uh, um, yeah, I find that over the long haul, the, the, the average trading length uh, is right. Average. That's the wrong word. I should nominal is the correct word. Okay. Uh, is fluctuates either side of about 40 trading days. Okay, very good. It's very, very interesting. And the final, the final one that you have here, uh, what, uh, what are you looking here? This was the one for the Dow Jones yearly? Yes. Uh, this okay. chart, uh, you and I have touched on a little bit in the past. Um, this goes back a couple of hundred years, back to the 1600s. This is a log chart of the Dow Industrials. And what I've done here is I've highlighted the, the secular highs and the secular lows in the Dow. Uh, the data prior to 1792 is synthesized from the British market. Uh, but this is a log chart of the Dow going back to the 1600s. And what I've done here is I've marked the secular peaks and the secular troughs. And Larry, I found that the, the Lucas numbers 29 and 47 seem to be governing the patterns on the on the yearly chart going back uh, several hundred years for example the lucas wow. number 29 times 2 is 58 and you can see that's governing the uh, the, the the troughs across the bottom uh, the lucas number 29 again times 4 is 116 and you can see that number uh between the uh, 1720 high and the 1835 high and the next number in the series is Lucas number 47. You multiply that times two and you get 94. And one can see that the time period between 1835, that high, and the 1929 high was 94 years. And I believe good old Lucas number 94, again, when added to the 1929 top, comes out to be 2023. And I think uh, early in the first quarter of 2023, I think we're going to see a major, another major secular peak, just like 1929. Just like 1835, just like 1720. Wow. And across uh, the pattern of troughs in 1722, 1784, 1842, 1932, and so forth, one can see the numbers 58 and 94 across the bottoms, uh, those same numbers. And uh, when one adds, uh, well, adding, or I actually do a regression analysis, which finds the best fit mathematically, it points to uh, maybe November 2026 for a major, major trough. And I think that's awesome. Hey, Stan, thanks for joining us, my friend. We'll have you on again in a couple of weeks. May God bless and be safe. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. 
David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're back, folks. So we just had a really nice chat with Stan Harley. And to say that man is not bullish would be uh, a lie. The guy really, really, really believes in what he looks at. And you can tell by the numbers, all we have to do is wait from a week from today, boys and girls, and we will find out where we are. And believe it or not, on that day, we are going to have none other than Norman. He calls it to the minute. Winsky will be our guest, and I believe we're really close to a new moon at that time. So that'll be interesting to see what we have uh, seeing as we look at some of these things. Okay, we've now hit that price objective that we were looking at in the E-mini S&P at uh, 38.32. Whether that stops it or not, I don't know, but that is one of the patterns that we look at as we go through some of these things that we look at. I still believe, folks, that we are over a situation here where we could have a uh, a really severe correction that maybe only be one week correction here that would take us down into the 11th and then we'll find out where we are but with all these people that are out there with read it and uh, Twitter and uh, all the other ones that are out there there's more and more coming to the together all the time because they realize it's a great way to do some advertising but that does affect the markets because if two or three people get on and then they give to two or three two or three more you know it, it starts a feeding frenzy and you can see what happens to some of these things as they as they really start to move. I need to check the gold price here this morning, folks. So if you'll bear with me here one second, we are now trading at uh, 710. I, I'm still saying that we're we're going to get get a little bit lower now. I haven't. <coughs> excuse me, folks. I have not really. Um, <laughs> you know, I got to be real honest with you, folks. I got so tied up with this uh, thing with the uh, emotionalism in the gold because I get so many emails. The problem is we got a little bit lucky, well, more than a little bit lucky on the, on the way down. And people did really good. You know, a couple people, you know, told me some incredible stories that I'm not allowed to share. But, I mean, they were really, uh, really amazing things that, that had happened to them because of the gold trade. And I, I'd like to have another tra trade like that. You know, we try to get one every, you know, occasionally. You know, we've been short bonds for a long time, but that's been a choppy market up until the last uh, collapse. You know, the rest of it, you know, you just you have to go in and out, in and out, in and out. So keep in mind that uh, this business is not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. And that's the whole key to keeping your chips right close to your vest. And that's really what you're what you're trying to do as you go through these things each day. So all I can tell you is that uh, 
there's going to be more volatility every day than we've ever seen before. So I think that you have to be able to tell yourself to get ready for it. Make sure that you use the stop because if you don't, you're telling Mr. Market that I know more than you do. And believe me, boys and girls, that is not the case. That is never going to be the case. So you want to be sure that you'll be able to handle the next trade. And if you don't have any chips, they don't let you play in the game anymore. Another thing that's happened uh, over over the past few weeks that uh, one of the best traders that I know down in Tennessee has been uh doing an experiment with this, these mini, mini uh, micro trading of the of the E-mini S&P, uh, what he was doing is building positions. In other words, you know, the margin on the large ones was around 12,000, but the little ones are a lot less. Uh, but he shared with me one way that he was using a structure of uh, – of uh, adding the contracts and I'm going to be uh, working on a way to share that with you uh, because these things are very active I mean I was really surprised uh, you know I've been watching you know how many well they should be they're they're one-fifth the size of the regular so those are the main things that you want to keep uh, keep an eye on uh, as we as we go through and, and look at some of these things that we're watching right here okay we have a question from someone about the uh, crude oil Crude oil went up today and made the 78% uh, retracement up there at 62.70 and change. We're now a little bit lower than that. That should be an important number in the crude oil. But uh, again, you know, with gas going, we went from 2.20 a gallon here when this thing started. Now we're three dollars a gallon here in uh, in Arizona, and you know that doesn't help anything. You know, you think that these the, the they give us these uh, uh, ideas of you know inflation or non-inflation and stuff like that but my goodness when you go from three from 220 to three dollars that's a big increase but uh, I'm a little bit skeptical of what the governments give us in our reports that's the main thing I got another question about the gold boys and girls I don't really know all I can tell you is we've got a chance I'll show it to you one more time because this is I think this is the one that really tells you where you're at and where you're going to be and that's this gold chart right here this is a uh, going back about uh, three uh, going back a month or so let's get this up here so we can take a look at it because the real question here is has this three drive pattern formed on the far right there that's where we made the bottom at 1699 okay that was the that was the ABCD on that all stretches all the way down to 1690 that's another nine dollars lower now if that one hits either today or tomorrow uh, then i'll be looking to possibly be a buyer for a short-term trade but right now i can't you'll notice uh, when this was sent to me yesterday it was trading at 1711 we're at 1710 so we really haven't gone anywhere all we did on that rally was 25 dollars, and that was that was very very fast you know that's uh that's a that's a main thing. So that's what I'm watching. I'm not sure whether it's going to make a bottom there or not, but I'll be looking with great intensity when we get to 1673 if we get there. And, and we're, when we're doing that, I'm going to be watching platinum and a whole bunch of other things too. So keep in mind that that's uh, some of the things that we want to watch today as we're we're going through looking at some of these things. If you have any questions, folks, it's 877-927-6648. By the way, on a uh, programming note, I will not be on the show tomorrow at the regular time. I will be on at noon Eastern time. I'll be taking Basil Chapman's place, and Basil will be taking my place early in the morning tomorrow. So remember, if uh, you have an interest in the show, it'll be on at noon tomorrow, Eastern time, and not at the regular time. And then I think the following week, uh, we're going to be getting back to the regular time, and then I'll be staggering my pr uh, pr presentations here uh, on different days and stuff. So we'll uh, work that out in the future. We're, we're working on it right now. But right now, we're going to keep it the same for everything. If I had one thing to mention to everybody, and it's this one right here, and that is the bond market, folks. Because if we fail in the bond market, that is going to be a pretty bad thing because we have got some entire interest rates coming, as you can hardly 
already see. And I know you folks don't remember this, but it used to be the average low end of the range was 4% in the bonds, and the high high range was 6%. That was all during the uh, 19 uh, from 1970 through 80s and the 90s, and then in the 2000s it changed with the uh, global what do they call that stuff? The quantitative easing, and they pumped the money full of air. And uh, but the dollar is holding up extremely well, as we can see from the euro. There's nothing wrong with the dollar here. If we get it below 85 or 89, then there is, but nothing right now. It's it's hanging in there very good. Okay, we got to uh, to pay a few bills here, and when we get back. We'll uh, review where we are today in the trading, and we'll see what's going on. Uh oh, I got a little more time. So if you have any questions, it's 877 927 6648. Remember, tomorrow I will be on at noon time, and, and Basil Chapman will be at uh, 9 o'clock. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, before the, we, when we started the show, I posted a uh, little pattern in the S&P uh, with the uh, 1832 as possibly being, excuse me, 3832. I got gold on my mind, as, as uh, Glenn Campbell would say. Anyway, 
uh, we had a nice pattern there, ABCD382, right at the 1832 level. Uh, we've broken down about 20 handles from there. So if you did that trade, certainly don't lose any money on it. You know, I can't follow you uh, through with this thing, but uh, keep a close eye on that one anyway. But if we get below the uh, 3785 level, that could be a big winner. But, you know, that's that's the prophecy that you don't want to get involved with. So that's uh, pretty much what we're looking at here. We got gold at 1714. I don't know what's going to happen to that one either but we'll keep a close eye on these and we'll be able to see you know where we stand with uh, some of the others so we'll <clears throat> hold on one second folks sorry for the little frog in my throat also keep an eye on the bond market folks uh, we're down here around 58 12 we get below that 57 uh, 20 level again uh, we're going to be looking at some serious stuff uh, to the downside so make a make a note of that you don't want to uh, get involved with that one for sure if that in fact does happen watch it closely 5720 if we get below 15720 in the treasury bonds it's going to be a bad bad situation so don't uh, don't allow that to uh, don't allow that to happen for sure so that's about all I can offer for you today. Uh, remember, tomorrow uh, at the regular time, Basil will be taking my show here. I'll be doing his show at noon. Uh, that'll just be for one day, and then we go back to the regular sequence again on uh, Monday, and we'll watch these markets uh, keep jumping around as we see them jump around all the time. So watch the bonds, folks. That's going to be the key to the market. If we, Right now, they're holding up relatively well above that 158 level. We're 158.11, but below that, that brings in some serious problems, and you don't want to get involved with that. If in fact that's uh, what happens, so let's uh, let's keep that in mind, and we'll move on to the uh, next one. So we'll, we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow at noon.